Nigiri sushi is something that is truly an art form, and it's something that is a skill that you'll work a lifetime to perfect. You're gonna dip your hands in water, and then pull to the side and clap your hands free of the extra moisture. You're going to collect your warm seasoned sushi rice and you're going to form it into a rice ball. And this ball of rice is important because you're going to gauge it on the size of the fish slice that you're preparing, but also to the guests that you're serving. So if you're serving a large person or a small person, you're going to make the nigiri in proportion to them. Here we use the right amount of wasabi for the right fish. Light fish gets a light wasabi. A beefy or heavier fish with a heavier oil content will get a heavier amount of wasabi for balance. It's very important that you're shaping the rice to the size of the cut of the fish. With my thumb, you'll see I'm creating an air pocket here that will remain in the center of my nigiri. I'm not squeezing the fish as hard as I can. I'm delicately shaping the fish around the rice. I am keeping that pocket of air alive inside the center of the rice. I'm not squeezing the rice, but I am shaping the fish around the structure of the rice. The tail and head of this nigiri slice is touching my hand. When I place it on a plate, the fish will touch the plate on both sides. And I'm creating an arch in the back of the nigiri sushi. I'm also shaping it vertically. And this is important because we are symbolizing the freshness of the fish and the life of the fish. As if it were swimming in the sea, you would see the fish cresting up above the surface of the ocean as it's swimming. And we recreate that here in the presentation of the nigiri sushi. I have made another piece of nigiri sushi, which is an example of how not to make it. And this is what you'll see at most places. It's 90% rice and 10% fish. The piece of fish is very small. It's barely touching the table in any way. And the rice has been squeezed and dense. If you look at the nigiri piece I've made, you can see the light shining through it. And you can see the air inside of the nigiri sushi piece. Here I'm plating it, I'm brushing each piece of fish with a nikiri, which is our house-created soy dressing for the fish, and then garnishing it with a small piece of amaranth. It's about revering the fish, how beautiful it is, and the seasonality of it. <laughs>